Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Jeff the plumber in the plumber's truck. Let me have a talk with you. Maybe a deep thought. Maybe not. I don't know. Division. Man. The last two years. This country. Why are we so divided? Why are we. Why do we let. The media. Divide us. And I say the media. Because. NBC. CNN, Fox, um, I may be forgetting any of the biggies. But anyway, they each come at us from a different viewpoint. Left wing, right wing, the liberal, non-liberal, I don't understand it. And they're always trying to segregate us. And there are people out there in the world who fall into those pitfalls and then they post things on the social media and they troll around and they, and they, and they start these arguments about, you know, their viewpoints. I'll give you an example. This past week we voted for uh, recall of the governor, Newsom. So I've heard people call him gruesome. Feel what you feel about them. All, I like to say all politicians stink. Because most of them never had a real job. Most of them never rolled up their sleeves and got down in the trenches and worked in a grocery store or bussing tables or digging holes or, you know, doing some dirty, hard job like the micro dirty job guy says. Most of those people have never done that stuff. So they don't know anything about the dirtiness of working hard and coming home with filthy clothes or a hurt back or sore body parts because they don't know that. They've lived a clean life their whole time, a upper scale lifestyle. Um, and so they can't connect with most of us blue collar, hard working or poor people who are in the muck every day. And they and they and they spice us up and they get us into these arguments and listen, I'm not trying to start an argument here. Cause I'll tell you this, it doesn't matter. Go to work, work hard, earn money. I know you're gonna have to pay taxes. We we can't change that. More taxes, less taxes save money, don't save money. You know, it changes daily. This is the way of the world. It has been this way since the beginning of the world time when we had some kind of government society. It, it didn't change. It hasn't changed. It's always been that way. It's never going to change. The only way it's going to change, and it won't change, It'll just change for a short time if, like, we have some major world apocalypse and we revert back to lawless society. But even in lawless society, someone will come along and make some kind of rules and we will have to live by them. So let's just stop pissing and moaning about them and just live your life the best you can. Live within your bubble, your circle, your family. Love those who are connected to you. Love those who are not connected to you. And just love like you want to be loved. I don't know. Simple, deep thought. Argue, comment, whatever. Nobody does. So I hope maybe this is the one that someone just screams out to me and has some kind of rough neck argument about something. Because it doesn't matter. So... Our mayor, our governor, excuse me, our governor here doesn't change. But when his term is up, we get to vote again and we'll vote for a new guy. And I don't know who that will be. There was people I like better than our choice. But, but again, it doesn't matter. Look, if you don't vote, you don't have a say. But if you do vote and the person you vote for doesn't win, suck it up, buttercup. It's just the way it is. We lost an argument. We came into it with our democratic viewpoint where we voted. We had right and wrong in our own heart and we voted for it. And maybe we won and it was a victory for, okay, now I feel good because I won. My vote won or my vote lost. But if my vote lost, doesn't lose, I mean, doesn't win, my vote doesn't win and I lost, 
I, do, I personally just pray on it and say, keep me safe in this person's decision and please don't tax the poo out of me so I could someday retire and live the nice life that I try to live. I mean, that's the way I look at it and that's the way I see it. And that's just me speaking deep down from my heart and my soul and my spirit. Um, don't argue. I see people arguing with their neighbors about it. I, I don't. I live on a cul-de-sac. I love all my neighbors, and I don't care if the the neighbor. I have a neighbor on my street that is a um, um, Scientologist. I love them like I love the guy next to him who uh, is a Buddhist or the per or the other five people who are Christians. Uh, we're all the same. We all want the same thing. We want a nice roof over our head. We want a healthy family. We want a job that we kind of like. I mean, it would be great if we all loved our job, but we, but we all can't. So we kind of like our job. We're making money to pay for our bills, to eat nicely, to go on nice vacations, to enjoy the beautiful things in life. Let's not let the government or the media control those viewpoints. So don't let it, maybe turn it off. I understand got to watch it every once in a while to see what's going on to keep in the loop but sometimes you got to turn it off so this video might be long it might not be hey jeff the plumber from the plumber truck saying look peace and love to you all i love you guys have a great day